agree. And I think that that's one of the things that first drew me to the character way back when. This is, you know, I think three years ago now, you know, um, Mm -hmm. and uh, talking to um, Mr. Valentini about uh, Ava and one of the things he said is that he lo- she, she, she loves her daughter. And this was before um, the baby. Oh, my God. The precious darling. Avery oh, my goodness. Who I actually she wanna, is a I mean, scene stealer. Is it wrong that when I see her, I, I, I kind of salivate a little bit? And I have those <laughs> fantasies about putting, <laughs> about putting like <laughs> butter on her and eating her. <laughs> Just one little bite. <laughs> That's that's one little bite. <laughs> no, she's a little scene stealer. That little thing is. Ah, oh, she's a gorgeous thing, and such a good. Mm. You know, there's such lovely kids. The whole family's lovely, but um, you mm. know, one of the first things that you don't you you know when you you say villain, you know, you say you're you know I want you to play a villain. Okay, what does villain mean? What it, what what does that mean to to the show? What does that mean to to my Frank? What does that mean to me? And to me, as an actor, right, there's no such thing as a villain. You, you, you are who you play, right? So and if her, if, if what she does is, or it seems dastardly, that's fine if what it, the appearance is that it's dastardly. But for her, it, she's doing it for a reason. Everything she does is for a reason. So she's not mm-hmm. a villain to herself, obviously, <laughs> you know. And so, yes. of course, she loves her daughter and, and would never c- consider herself a villain, except for a brief moment with um, uh, Franco in the hospital where she kind of just, you know, broke down her own deeds a little bit with him. Um, but, you know, people don't do that. Bad people don't say, yes, I'm bad. We, you know, they don't. They just go on about their business and they have their um, attitude about what they do and that they're right. You know, she thinks she's right. And and so do I. <laughs> and so do I. <laughs> I do. I love her, and I think that <laughs> I think that she is right in, in in the stuff she does. I mean, I if I have to playing her right, find some way to defend every action, or I, or I can't really True. do it. True. It's phony, you know. So the the the, the Connie stuff, which God, can we just quit it already? But that keeps coming up. But for me, that's like, well, you know, if if Ava hadn't killed her, she would, you know, turn around and tell Julian, and Julian would kill her just like she killed killed uh, he killed the older sister. I mean, it's just Olivia, like you yeah. have to make them. Yes, I mean, she she that was a fear based, fear driven uh, reaction, um, to me as the actress because I have to do that. Mm-hmm. I can't make it. I'm just I'm I'm bad. I mean, how boring is that? There has to be some 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 um, purpose for every action, and that's sort of the fun in it. <laughs> you know, it's a it's a lot I, of fun. I don't think I've ever classified Ava as a villain. Did you, Ryan, classify Ava as a villain? Because I just never. No, gave her that I, I mean, title. Ava's 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 complex, and she she's complex, and she's um, she's a self preservationist, and I feel like she makes decisions and what she feels are the best interests of her family, even though some people don't like it. And if you look at the things that Ava has done, she is no worse than some of the heroes quote unquote heroes in town. I mean, really, there is the Ava's list of crimes compared to, you know, some of the others is is, is a lot less, you know. But that's just my opinion. So <laughs> No, I agree. Oh. I no, but I agree with you. I agree with you that the line between hero and villain is uh can be very blurry, right? Because both, both hero and villain are are active. They're they're active people. So when you're doing um, that those that those doings can be perceived in different ways. So I I agree. I think that if you were if you you could look at the show one way and say you know a- a- Ava's not a villain. She's a hero. She's a you know she's a heroine. You 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 could. I mean you have to be probably a member of my family to look at it that way. <laughs> I, I, I think 
I, I think I am a card carrying supporter of the Jerome family, so that would make me one. I think I, 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 I also carry the same card. And I carry the same card right in my wallet, and I, I had a tweet just now that came through. I, I should be ashamed that I'm about to mention it, so I'm really not. Uh, but a tweet just came in, and Chris said that tell Mar West that we are forever grateful that Ava killed Connie, and I'm just like, oh, God. okay. Yeah. You know, um, Mara, I have a question for you. Um, has there yes. been a time um, that you found it difficult to connect with Ava's motivations? You know, have you have you? Let, let, let me repeat that. Has there any? Has there been a time at all? that you've had felt it difficult to get, I guess, to maybe feel what Ava's point of view is? Ooh, that's a good question. That is a good question. I'm going to think about that. Because part of the step, you know, there, there's steps in my process, right? So I get the script, I throw the script against the wall, I, um, and not because it's not good, just because that, that's my what I do. And then I revisit it. You know, I take it back. I usually my son Joe or my daughter Kate will outline my lines for me, and then I look at it again, and and then I go, okay, so now I'm Ava, and now I get it. So I'm trying to think if there's any really, really, truly difficult things I've had. I mean, I I would say that there was one thing about um, when. Um, when Ava was came back as Denise, uh, Denise gets a bad rap, but I love Denise. But I, I would think that that was hard for me to justify um, having another romantic relationship um, with um, Brian Craig's character, you know, as mm-hmm. Denise and not letting him know that it was really Ava. I think that was kind of... Uh, difficult for me because if she really loved him, really trusted him, she'd pull him aside and say, "Hey, man, it's me." Hey, you know, um, right, and, and, right, uh, right. You know, but 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 you know, even then, you 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 just you know, I'm not Ava, I'm me. So uh, Ava's Ava, and I have to commit to that and and do it. But that, I think that I, that's one of the things I would think of that was sort of that was sort of kind of hard to justify. Does that answer your question? I don't even know if I answered yeah. your question. No, it, okay. it does. It does. And, you know, okay. you, you say that Ava gets, uh, that, that Denise gets a bad rap, and she does kind of. But I will say one of the things that I noticed then and, and even now is that everybody was like, you know what, this is a little absurd. But Mar looks like she's having a ton of fun. And that's what kind of sold it for us. You know? Yeah. You know, I don't know how much fun I had, actually, to be honest. I'm not sure. I, you know, like, we, we uh, I love being an actor. I love playing Ava. I, I love being on this show. That was that was a little bit challenging, I think, because there was such immediate um, um, poor reaction to that. And, um, and I'm a human being, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. and, and I could sense that and sort of feel that, but at the same time, that, look, I didn't, I, I just show up, learn my lines and do my job the best I can. I'm not, I didn't decide what was, what was going to be done. I just show up and do it. Um, and so at the end of the day, um, I was very proud of it and, um, and thought Denise was really quite adorable actually. I don't think I hated her. I just hated the wig. The accent I thought was pretty cool. And <laughs> I didn't. I didn't hate Denise. I just hated the wig. That was the only thing I hated about her. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I think even bring me that, back to my blonde, that. my blonde woman. Bring the back the blonde. Yeah. That's all I asked for. <laughs> yeah. I loved. I loved having the dark hair, and I also think that you know, it, it, it's funny to. Not funny, haha, but it's you know we we in the genre can talk about like the wig or whatever. But you know I I watch movies all the time, and I watch movies with billion with ten million dollar budgets and more that have worse wigs than that. So at the same time, True. I'm like, well, what about it? So what? Shut up. That's the show. Yeah, the, you know, Moore is wearing a wig. Shut up and 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 and, and, come, and come for the ride. If you don't want to come for the ride, then 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 don't. But 
don't come for the ride and then complain about the choppy water sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, just <laughs> join me, woman. you know? Yeah. <laughs> but it's true, I right? Woman. I, mean, I watch I, I watch movies all the time with people and women are wearing worse wigs than that. That's not even that bad a wig, frankly, you know? But... And, and Ava wasn't wearing the wig. And, that, you, know, I, you know, again, this is not something we talk about. People go see movies don't do this. It's these really diehard, thank God for them, you know, audiences that are like, oh, that's a wig. That, you know, and, and, and everyone has an opinion. And, and it's so easy to express that opinion. And I appreciate it 99% of the time. Um, but sometimes, <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> sometimes it hurts a little bit. And, like, the wig, I, you know, yes, Ava, Maura West was wearing a wig. Ava was not. That was supposed to be Ava's hair grown out. Okay? Now we, we know it. It's, like, you just sometimes you just have to accept stuff, right? I mean, we do that all the time. Right. When we watch, when we watch anything, we accept things like that. I mean, I, to me, it wasn't a big deal. I thought I looked kind of pretty. It was nice to not have my own hair blown out every day. It, you know, I, I didn't mind it. That's me. <laughs> so. <laughs> That is so awesome. Oh, and how did you find out about your nomination today? Oh, well, I was, we, um, all my kids were at school today. Um, and my husband and I were home because we're, I'm not working this week. And, um, we sort of were having, um, <laughs> it's sort of funny because my husband and I had our phones. We had our, we had our phones. And I don't want to be like, it's like, I'm too cool to care. Of course I care. You know, of course I do, and and I was feeling the the nerves, the nerves, and um, we didn't have any. The house was completely quiet, and my husband and I were in the the family room with our phones face down on the coffee table, and we were just sort of staring at each other, like you know, like um, like the wild wild west, like we were going to have a you know shoot each other or something like you know. Um, <laughs> Uh, and we just like, I'm not looking, you look, I'm not looking, you look like, cause our phones were flipped over. And, and then, <laughs> and then we thought, oh, well, you know, I, you know, we have, we haven't, it's no, no, no phones have made it sound then, you know, it's too bad. So, okay. And then my phone rang and, and I answered it cause I saw that it was my mother who lives back East. So she was watching the show cause the show wasn't on here. You know, the talk isn't on here. So it was, um, my mom was watching it. And she called me, so I found out from my mom, which is that's the first time that's happened, and that's awesome. So I was very happy. Oh, that. that's really cute. That's kind of that's actually kind of cool. I like that. It is cool. Oh, my mom's pretty pretty badass. My mom's no joke. So <laughs> hey, you're badass too. So <laughs> that, I can see where she gets oh, see where you get it from. Learn from the best. <laughs> that's it, um, and you well, pass you guys, it on to I your kids. I don't want to hold you guys hostage all all night because I know you're doing your thing. But um, I just wanted to thank you guys for always being uh, awesome to Gemma Hospital and me in particular. And uh, I'm so grateful for you. And um, just I have an opportunity to talk to you because I think you guys are awesome. Oh, thank you. Well, we're happy you you're always. Awesome <laughs> you're awesome too. I mean, I'm echoing Ryan's statements because. I say it too much to you all the time. You probably are sick of me saying it to you all the time. You're probably, I'm probably one of those people that you're sitting there going, God, shut up. So. Oh, yeah. Don't, 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 don't throw me in that briar patch. I don't want to go in that briar patch. Right. <laughs> I love you I guys. appreciate I you. Supper for my kids. Thank I appreciate Absolutely. you more. Thank you so much. You guys have a great show. I'll talk to you again soon. Absolutely. Right. Bye, Bye, Dave. Bye-bye. Huh. So awesome, awesome, wasn't it? So, awesome. Are you okay? Are you are you I not am... are you not on the ground? Are you not dead yet? You okay? <laughs> you good? <laughs> I'm officially proud of myself for not having an absolute conniption because that I just like she's so awesome. She's just so awesome. Like <laughs> it's so real, and man. Was, she's and so it was real. You. It was you who brought me into the fold of As the World Turns and got me into, you know, the just her awesomeness and all of that stuff. So I'm just like, it's awesome. And the last year when we did this and she called in, I was completely silent. Like, I freaked out. Freaked yes, you out. were. You said and, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> didn't do it this time. Didn't do it this time. But you know what the great thing yeah, is? No, no. You, you had more free reign. I was like, no, nah, man. It's all you. You go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what I think it's important to note. Um, people who are listening and, and those who 
um, support what it is that we do, whether it's our various podcasts over the years or our website, you know, we are fans first. You know, I think a lot of people don't under, you know, a lot of people sort of have a, a misconception about this. We wouldn't 